Anyway, any way you say it, with the weather, it's hot. <laughs> yes, that, it's hot. that's true. Caliente, like you said earlier. Mucho caliente. Uh, yes, that's true. And it will get even mucho, <laughs> mucho caliente. Mucho. Can More I mucho. say that? Yeah, as we get to the Mega end mucho. of this week. We do have some relief, though, in the form of some rain and storms. But unfortunately, it comes with a heavy cost of some significant lightning and thunder in some areas. So not as hot today. Thanks to the rain and the cloud cover, the heat high is back out to the west. It will pick back up in our area as we get to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But that opens the door, the back door, we should say, for a few thunderstorms to enter into the picture. Let's look at the East Texas Storm Team radar here on this Tuesday evening. The storm coverage is beginning to die down, but where areas of rain continue, we are still looking at some moderate to heavy rain and lightning at times. Let's first take you north of Interstate 20. We've got two areas that we're keeping an eye on. First of all, I want to point out the area that's going to be near Quitman, uh, east of Quitman, I should say, back to Gilmer. We've got a broken line of precipitation here, even in Longview. In the last, say, 30 minutes or so, you had a couple of sprinkles from some light showers that have moved through there. But notice the boundary from near Lake of the Pines stretching back to Gilmer, almost running uh, similar to Highway 154, the way it runs from west to east from Quitman moving into Upshur County. We've got some spotty areas of rainfall there. You notice here the more intense thunderstorm. That's going to be located now in Hopkins County. Heavy rainfall moving in. Sulphur Springs, we're probably about 20, 30 minutes or less away from you seeing the brunt of this storm. Dark skies, very heavy rainfall moving in. This clip, very extreme poor portions of Franklin County and will continue to move to the southwest. If it can hold together, rains northwest Wood County may see the impact of this. This is the most strongest storm that we have here in East Texas at this point. Uh, it could produce some 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts along with heavy rain and lightning. Let me show you the bigger picture once again. That's all that we're seeing central northern areas, but we are going to continue to keep an eye on case any additional showers form. Let me take you into Toledo Bend where storms have begun to blossom a bit more. Specifically in portions of Sabine County, heavier rainfall happening in this area. This would be east of San Augustine. Hempel, you're starting to see some of the moderate to heavier precipitation too. Notice back into Sabine Parish. This is near the Lake Toledo Bend area. Yeah, you're looking at some moderate to heavier rain as well. This is going to continue to drift back to the southwest. This is going to converge right along the Toledo Bend Dam here and work its way back into Sabine County. So we're going to see some heavy rain. Could see some strong wind gusts as well in this portion of East Texas also. Quick check of temperatures. We're holding in the 90s, some 80s, and a lot of cloud cover, more sun out to the west. A look at future cast, the high resolution computer model doing a pretty good job picking up on these storms. This is at 7 o'clock, so in about 30, 45 minutes. But as we get to 9 o'clock, storm chances will start to decrease, and we'll look at the rain chance to end overnight tonight. Now, by tomorrow, Tomorrow, we have a few more thunderstorms that will remain in the forecast. Look at our temperature tracker plus the rain chances. We still reach the lower and mid 90s. Best timing for rain between about 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock through the day on Wednesday. The seven day forecast is the rain chances decrease. We're going to heat back up. On our way to the upper 90s, I think some of us will reach that 100 degree mark this weekend. But the heat high moves back to the west, and that allows more rain chances. As early as next Monday, deep east Texas, additional scattered storms are expected tomorrow. Coming up in sports, the Dallas Cowboys return back to the practice field.